In this video, we'll introduce the property of electronegativity, why it affects chemical bonding, and how it changes across the periodic table. Atoms bond together through the sharing or transfer of their outer or valence electrons. We define the electronegativity of an atom as a measure of its pull on these bonding electrons, and it's the relative difference in this pull that determines the type of bonding that occurs. An atom with a high electronegativity exerts a strong pull on its bonding electrons. An atom with a moderate electronegativity exerts a moderate pull on these electrons, and an atom with a low electronegativity exerts only a very weak pull. Atoms with low electronegativity tend to lose electrons to atoms with higher electronegativity. As they do, they form positive ions, while the atom with the high electronegativity forms a negative ion. The Pauling scale assigns a number to the strength of this pull. The scale ranges from 0.7 for the least electronegative atom, the one with the weakest pull, to 4.0 for the most electronegative atom, the one with the strongest pull. And with this scale, we can see how electronegativity varies across the periodic table. Metals generally have low electronegativity values, which is why they tend to lose their outer electrons and form positive ions, while nonmetals generally have high electronegativity, which is why they tend to form negative ions. The noble gases, helium, neon, and argon, do not form bonds with other atoms, as they have complete outer electron shells. With no attraction for electrons, they don't have an electronegativity value. The metal francium is the least electronegative element, while fluorine is the most electronegative. And in general, we see these values increase diagonally, like this, across the table, which is related to the trend in the atomic radius. Smaller atoms tend to have higher electronegativity. And we can see this clearly in period 2, starting with lithium having an electronegativity of just 1.0, up to the most electronegative element, fluorine. This trend is explained by the increase in nuclear charge as we move across the period. The greater the nuclear charge, the tighter the outer electrons are pulled in towards the nucleus. We can also see a trend as we move down a group. Looking at group 17, the halogens, as atomic radius increases down the group, the electronegativity decreases. This is because additional filled electron shells shield the nucleus, which reduces the effective nuclear charge that can pull on the outermost electrons. In further videos, we'll see how the difference in electronegativity between bonding atoms determines the type of bonding that results.